Did you know that Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, still lives in the same house he bought in 1958 for $31,500? Now that's frugality. When we think of billionaires, we often envision ostentatious mansions, luxury cars, and extravagant lifestyles, but not Warren Buffett. Despite being the third wealthiest person on earth, he's famous for his modest down-to-earth lifestyle. This is a man who, despite having billions at his disposal, prefers to drive his own car, enjoys a simple breakfast from McDonald's, and still resides in his Omaha home that he bought over six decades ago. His frugality isn't just a personal choice, it's a philosophy he attributes to his success. It's a testament to the fact that wealth isn't about how much you spend, but how wisely you save and invest. If the third wealthiest person on the planet can live frugally, so can we. Let's dive into 10 of Warren Buffett's tips for frugal living. Warren Buffett once said, price is what you pay, value is what you get. So what does this mean? It's about recognizing the real worth of a product, not just its cost. When you shop, don't let price tags dictate your decisions. Instead, consider the value you're getting in return. Consider this, buying a high quality pair of shoes might set you back a bit more up front. But if those shoes last you five years, as opposed to a cheaper pair that wears out after six months, aren't you getting more value in the long run? It's about investing in items that offer longevity and usefulness rather than going for the cheapest option. Remember, frugality isn't about depriving yourself of quality. It's about making smart, value-driven choices that benefit you in the long haul. So the next time you're about to make a purchase, ask yourself, am I paying for value or just a hefty price tag? Buffett is famously averse to debt and believes in living within your means. Now that's a lesson we could all stand to learn. You see, debt is like a chain. It holds you back. It's a burden that keeps you from moving forward, from reaching your full potential. And the longer you carry it, the heavier it becomes. But when you live within your means, when you only spend what you earn, you're free. You're not tied down by monthly payments or interest rates. You're not constantly worrying about how you're going to make ends meet. Instead, you've got the freedom to plan for the future, to save and invest, to build wealth. Consider a young couple starting out. By avoiding debt, they can save for a down payment on a house, plan for their children's education and secure a comfortable retirement. That's the power of living within your means. Remember, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. Warren Buffett believes that the best investment you can make is in yourself. Now let's unpack that. What does it mean to invest in yourself? It's about committing time and resources to self-improvement and continuous learning. It's about recognizing that your mind is your greatest asset. Think about it. By expanding your skill set or deepening your knowledge in a certain area, you're making yourself more valuable. You're increasing your earning potential. You're opening up new doors for opportunity. For instance, learning a new language could lead to a job opportunity overseas or taking a course in digital marketing could help you start a successful online business. So it's not just about the money you can earn, but also about the person you can become. As Buffett once said, the more you learn, the more you earn. So what are you waiting for? Start investing in yourself today. Buffett's golden rule is to save first, spend what's left. Imagine your paycheck as a pie. The first slice should always be saved for future use and then you can enjoy the rest. This is not about depriving yourself of life's pleasures, but about setting aside a designated portion for your future self. It's about financial discipline and foresight. Let's delve into the world of a successful entrepreneur. She gets her paycheck and immediately sets aside 30% for savings. The remaining 70% is used for her monthly expenses and discretionary spending. By the end of the year, she has a substantial amount saved up, acting as a safety net for any unexpected expenses or as an investment for her future endeavors. By adopting this save first, spend later habit, you're not just stashing away money. You're building a foundation, a safety net, an opportunity for financial growth and stability. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you save. Warren Buffett is known for his meticulous tracking of expenses. He believes that understanding where every penny goes is essential to maintaining a frugal lifestyle. Picture this, you're sailing a ship and your expenses are like small leaks in the hull. Ignored, they can sink your financial ship. But if you're diligent, you can spot and fix these leaks before they become a problem. Now you might think, well, I know where my money goes. But do you really? Have you ever taken the time to write it all down? Every coffee, every lunch, every impulsive online purchase? 
You might be shocked to discover how much you're spending on things that aren't really necessary. Keeping a close eye on your expenses isn't about denying yourself pleasure or living in constant worry about money. It's about making conscious decisions, knowing where your money is going, and ensuring it's serving your goals and not disappearing down the drain. So, start tracking your expenses today. You'll be surprised at where your money is going. Buffett believes in the power of delayed gratification. This is not about denying yourself pleasures, but about postponing them for something even better. It's like choosing to save for a comfortable retirement rather than splurging on the latest smartphone. Delayed gratification is a skill, a muscle that grows stronger with practice. It teaches us to manage our impulses, to plan, and to realize that we can't have everything we want when we want it. Consider this. By putting off an immediate reward, you're not saying no, but rather not yet. It's like planting a seed and patiently waiting for it to grow into a beautiful tree. Yes, you could eat the seed now, but wouldn't you rather wait for the tree to bear delicious fruit? This practice can lead to greater financial security and satisfaction. It's about investing in your future self. Remember, the sweetest fruit is the one you've waited for. Patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to wealth creation, according to Buffett. Now, you might be wondering, why is patience so crucial in the world of finance? Well, let's delve into that. Imagine you're a farmer. You plant a seed, water it, and wait for it to grow. It doesn't happen overnight, does it? The same principle applies to your finances. Whether it's investing in stocks, paying off debt, or saving for a rainy day, these things take time. When you're patient, you allow your financial seeds to grow and mature. You see, patience helps you avoid rash decisions that could lead to regret. It's about resisting the urge to buy that shiny new gadget on impulse, or to sell your stocks at the first sign of a market dip. Instead, think long term. Consider the bigger picture. The beauty of patience is that it can lead to better financial decisions and outcomes. It's about understanding that the path to wealth isn't a sprint, but a marathon. So the next time you're tempted to make a hasty financial decision, remember, patience pays off. A Buffett is a fan of buying in bulk, and here's why. It's not just a tactic for large corporations, but a strategy that can be employed by anyone looking to stretch their dollar. When you buy in bulk, you're essentially purchasing a larger quantity of a product at a reduced price per unit. This can lead to significant savings over time. Consider everyday items like toilet paper or toothpaste. If you're purchasing these items one at a time, you're likely paying a premium per unit. But if you buy a multi-pack or a larger size, you'll see that the cost per unit drops. The same principle applies to food items. Staple goods such as rice or pasta are often cheaper when bought in larger quantities. But remember, it's not just about buying more. It's about buying smarter. Ensure that whatever you're buying in bulk is something you'll actually use before it expires. So the next time you're shopping, think like Buffett and buy in bulk. Buffett famously said, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. This wise advice brings us to the power of compound interest, a concept that has been at the heart of Buffett's wealth building strategy. Imagine you're planting a seed. Over time, that seed grows into a tree and that tree produces more seeds. These seeds in turn grow into more trees. That's compound interest for you. Your money growing on its own, producing more money, which then grows further. Let's say you save $100 this month. With a 4% annual interest, you'd have $104 next year. But here's where the magic happens. The next year, you're not just earning interest on your initial $100, but also on the $4 you earned as interest. Over time, this can significantly boost your savings. So, start saving now, and let compound interest do its magic. So there you have it. 10 frugal living tips from the third wealthiest person on the planet. We've delved into the importance of prioritizing value over price, steering clear of debt, and the significance of investing in ourselves. We've underlined the necessity of saving first and spending later, keeping a close watch on expenses and the virtue of delaying gratification. We've also highlighted the virtue of patience, the wisdom in buying in bulk, and the incredible power of compound interest. These are not just abstract concepts, but practical strategies that Warren Buffett himself has applied to build his wealth. They require discipline, foresight, and a commitment to long-term goals over short-term pleasures. The beauty of frugality, as demonstrated by Buffett, lies in its simplicity and its focus on genuine value. Remember, frugality is not about deprivation, 
but about making smart, value-based decisions. As Warren Buffett shows us, it's possible to live a rich